Sanchez. 22-2 in his mixed martial arts career. 9-2 overall, the familiar, yes, he's a big Tony Robbins guy. Born in Albuquerque, now fighting out of San Diego. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. That's one of the things that people on the underground forum make fun of all the time, this yes thing, because he gets so fired up and wants to be so positive. He wants to put himself in what he believes is the peak performance mind state. And as you said, he is a disciple of, of Tony Robbins and Tony Robbins' style of thinking. He is eyeing Guida, and Guida is eyeing him back before he even enters the octagon. I haven't seen this before. Oh, this the is whole be time. Crazy. Oh, yeah. He's been staring at Clay Guida, and Guida is returning the favor. Jiu Jitsu brown belt recently. A black belt in Gaidu Jitsu, of course, trained for a long time with Greg Jackson in Albuquerque. And he has just continued to impress since defeating Kenny Florian back in his UFC debut, The Ultimate Fighter 1. Well, it's an important point about the Jiu-Jitsu brown belt is that he came into Salvo Hibero's camp as a black belt under Greg Jackson, but decided to start over fresh with the white belt. And, you know, it's only been a couple years training under Salvo Hibero, and now he has a brown belt. He's not really a brown belt. He's a black belt. I've seen him fight in Abu Dhabi submission tournaments and hold his own against top fight competition. I, I, no doubt about it, he is, in my opinion, a black belt. I think it's just a matter of time before Salo rewards him one. And maybe if he can submit Clay Guida tonight, he's going to get it. Oh, they're yelling at each other. It's going to get crazy. This is going to get crazy. My house. My house, indeed. He's got the best nasty look in you the game. You couldn't ask for two more psychotic dudes to fight each other. <laughs> This is a dog fight, man.